still very striking in its punkness, grungeness as usual. So we're going inside now and I have a few designers there as well. So we're So we have the knitwear room, which is, as some of you might know, my biggest... very first one and I think it's even the first one that they showed in Paris I'm not sure maybe it was the second one uh, it was insane I loved it not because I'm from Germany I love techno music but the thing is Vakir is one of the very few brands that is um, emerging I would say is still in establishment mode that probably has not so much budget for amazing fabrics and manufacturing and uh, working people but still manages to excite so well that's something a lot of emerging brands do not uh, manage to do and uh, honestly even though it's it seemed again very uh, much like an exhibition like an art and art uh, uh, project it was still very striking in its punkness grungeness as usual again inspired strongly by military i will have a look at all the looks because i was filming as per usual. So, good morning from day two, everybody. I'm walking to Peter Du right now, and as a, every Parisian girl has to, I do it by foot because uh, it is way too uh, unsafe to do it by Uber. It might be that there are no cars or anything or mostly that you are stuck in traffic which happened to be several times which might be the reason why you don't make it to a show and because I'm a proper Parisian girl now after a year I walk by foot so I walk like two and a half kilometers and I'm making it to the show now I can't wait I'm a bit lazy with my outfit but it's a bit like a mix of some vintage Rioni and Balenciaga and of course it costs water so the show is about to start in 10 or 15 minutes. It's the first show of the day. Afterwards, I will go to Nicola Pasaletti. Not many more shows today. Uh, maybe some presentations, and I can't wait. Let's see.
from yesterday, actually, when I went to the Vaquera and went to the Dover Street Market um, showroom, but today we're also going to the La Collection um, showroom, which is a Belgium-based and Antwerp-based uh, brand, which does really beautiful, sophisticated, crazy, well-quality pieces. And I want to have a look at their collection as well. So we're going inside now, and I hope the designer is there as well, so we will see what we can have. So this is the new bag that you will launch exactly. soon, and it's it, it's crazy the soft. most amazing leather. Beautiful. It's really like a bag that you can carry your life within. That was really important. I'm searching always for a good laptop bag, for example, and I get always recommended stuff that looks very heavy or is like a big branded stuff. And this looks actually like something like you have something very minimal, yeah. which is cute. And it's the most subtle, like absolutely, like, yeah, yeah. Wants it's not about yeah. the name. And, the, about and the even the name is like very anonymous exactly. because it's not a name. Yeah. It's just like a, a term. And, yeah. uh, and it's really, it's cool really to nice. to wear like very much on the back. Yeah. Like body. And it's still very elegant while look. having this saggy look, of exactly. course. It's still very elegant. So these are a couple of our really like classic pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, the Abadun dress in the middle. Is it your dress? In uh, a no, it's a different ah, I assume this is wider, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really beautiful. This I love that the hanger. Sorry for touching, <laughs> um, but I love that it's so uh, so minimal and just really emphasizing. Actually, like the natural bust. Like we were saying, dressing in summer is not really my favorite. Yeah, favorite, exactly. But, but like it's this. like yes, because you can still keep true to your aesthetic exactly. while being summer appropriate, yeah. which is like the biggest and issue we have. Exactly. <laughs> That's really, and, and it's very lightweight. Ah. Okay, these are really nice. These are really nice, and I love the Peter Pan vibes. And uh, yes. no, I mean, it, it, no, it's super cool because they're pointy, and I also love pointy heels. They look comfortable. And what I like about boots is when you're like still dressed up, and they're still cozy. Because I tend to always wear shoes with a heel because everything flat will make me look like too casual. Yeah. And I just love like, I just love like a sophisticated boot. You know that can be. <laughs> so we have the knitwear room, which is, as some of you might know, my biggest um, flaw in life. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So this, color. you see the slit of the arm, it is very deep, <laughs> which means you can look very feminine and sexy if you don't, if you wear like a little cute bra inside. So it's not, because what, what I struggled. This. Oh no, how do you, how do you, find your fabrics or do you produce them yourself okay this is also very very elegant it's also really so cool subtle the back of the, the back on her because that is really it creates a more casual Again, like, more yeah because i like the roman effect of it but it's like the thing is it looks like evening wear at the beginning but it's still like you can still wear it in the summer if you have like flat shoes like this or like open shoes make it more like day appropriate and this honestly everybody needs to have this <laughs> like this is so elegant i just so this is actually like the perfect everyday look i love the shoes too no really yes. you're kidding <laughs> these shoes J'adore. And of course the belt. The belt is coming back, I, which I actually like, yeah. that because I haven't been wearing a belt for ages. Yeah, and this is the t-shirt the we just saw, right? Like yeah, the knit. exactly. The really fine, like really dry woven knit. So you see it has like only the slightest, slightest bit of sheering to it. Yeah. You almost cannot see it. No, but it's pretty elegant, I think. Yeah. And you see, like, she's not wearing anything underneath, but it's like, it doesn't show too much. And I'm, I have to say, I'm genuinely actually not a trench coat person, but this looks beautiful.
like yeah. the wind catches this, the volume and the movement. Okay, it's, it's really it's beautiful. And I just, as you said, the sound. <laughs> I just love the technicality of it. Yeah. And it looks like it's water resistant. It is. Yeah. It is water resistant. Okay, so we have functionality as well. Because when it's raining, you can put this Oh my god. You can wear it as like a little umbrella. Okay, true. You can wear it over your head. So it's also so important. It's actually functional. <laughs> yeah, and it's a huge piece of fabric that is just like. I mean, on top of it, you can use it like for so many purposes. Exactly. Like. <laughs> so this is the brushed cotton and feels incredibly soft. It almost feels like cashmere. It feels like, like baby pillows or something. Baby it's so pillows. soft, you know, what they have. And this is the dry cotton, so it is a bit harder, but it also is like a bit more, um, it looks a bit more structured because of that. So mm. it's a different effect. But here you have full coziness. And here you have a bit more like elevated and elegant look. So here we have the half skirt. And I can just wear it over my pants like this and look like I have almost a skirt and but it's just half. It's really nice. Not too Parisian, but still Parisian, it's perfect. I just came out of the showroom of La Collection and I have to say. And it was very impressive, especially concerning the fabrics. I've seen this very rarely and you know I check also all brands and it's, it's a brand that is absolutely our aesthetic. Um, the fabrics, uh, they have like dry cotton, brushed yeah, cotton, which is creating a super soft or like a super technical fabric. Um, it's amazing and then the way is like the multifunctionality and I think this is something pretty new we have like in a world of delicate fashion you have fabrics and you have pieces and you can use them in multiple ways so you do have the functionality that luxury is actually always missing um, we didn't have this before because the definition of luxury is actually the absence of functionality that's why we can't say it's luxury and we say it's worth to pay this price despite the luxurious uh, ing uh, not ingredients like fabrics for example and here I just saw so many versatile pieces and also new designs so it was something new I love it and La Collection is really a brand I can see myself wearing day to day uh, and I have to say the price point here makes also a lot more sense so if you think you should um, buy only big brands I think you're losing because they maintain better quality uh, for like one third and it's amazing and now I'm literally heading to Ikea to check uh, full body mirrors because somebody is not interested in getting one so I have to do it by myself it's okay